To this developing story now, President-elect Donald Trump has pledged to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. A lot of people call it Obamacare. This pledge has many wondering what will happen to those insured through it. Ashley Edlin went looking for answers today, and Ashley, you spoke with people on all sides, Democrats, Republicans, and health care officials. What are they saying? Well, at this point, no one knows what's going to happen. If it is repealed, the thing on many people's minds is what will replace it? And if it is revised, what will the revisions be? Know what we went through. Mel Callen is a nurse practitioner at Highland Family Medicine and says she worries about what will happen with their patient population if President-elect Donald Trump repeals the Affordable Care Act in 2017, something many people depend on for health care. Here at Highland Family Medicine, we have 20,000 patients throughout the uh, region, and at least close to half of them um, are here on Medicaid, and the others are mostly uh, commercially insured or they have no insurance. Callan says she's hopeful if it is repealed, pieces of the ACA will stay intact. Like she says, the provision that a health plan cannot deny coverage to patients because of a pre-existing condition. I'm hoping that uh, some of the factors like including children who are under their parents' plan up to age 26 will remain. Congresswoman Louise Slaughter told us she doesn't believe that's possible. This bill is put together like a brick wall. When you start pulling out bricks, and trying to leave four or five if you like, it's going to collapse. Congresswoman Slaughter has been outspoken about how alarmed she is that the Affordable Care Act could be repealed, saying the uninsured rate in New York has fallen 40 percent since the law was enacted. If they repeal the health care plan, it goes away. And if they attempt to save part of it, say we're going to go ahead and cover pre existing conditions. You can't pull bricks out of a brick wall and expect it to stand. But at this point, it's not clear what we can expect as far as changes go. We reached out to Republican Congressman Tom Reed, who has voted to repeal Obamacare in the past. In a statement today, he told us, we care about ensuring access to quality, affordable health care close to home. It's only right that we come together and listen to all sides of this issue to ensure we develop real solutions to achieve this goal. He continued, we will repeal the Affordable Care Act. We are fighting to make sure our policy package allows kids to stay on their parents' health insurance until age 26 covers pre-existing conditions, and encourages and promotes responsible end-of-life care. Adam. Ashley, thank you. Congresswoman Slaughter recently launched a campaign asking constituents who have benefited from the Affordable Care Act to reach out to her. It should be noted she brought the Affordable Care Act to the floor of the House of Representatives in 2009. Up next.